we have Donald Trump finding out about Kamala Harris's new VIP pick or VIP VP pick. And he is going after him already. So we're going to show Trump's ad. Then we're going to break down some of the details because I have a whole bunch of different things uh, on him to try and get you guys up to speed with who we're dealing with in case you don't really care about the you know governors on a state level. I know I don't. So a lot of this is new information for me. All right. What's he got, Trump? What could be weirder than signing a bill into law that requires schools to stock tampons in boys' bathrooms? Or weirder than signing legislation allowing minors to receive sex change operations? Try electing the man who signed those bills, Vice President of the United States. Enter Chief Weirdo Tim Walls. As governor of Minnesota, Walls supported legislation that endangers minors, hurts women, and puts radical ideology ahead of common sense. Now Kamala wants Walls to enforce those laws on a national scale. Tim Walls, too weird, too radical. I love the way the Trump team flipped the weird thing back onto the Democrats because how are they going to sit there and try and talk about, you know, Trump and the Republican Party folks being the weird ones? Really, bro? Like you don't have anything to stand on in that argument. It's not, it's not a thing. Okay. It just isn't. This was cat turd. I believe got this started or at least acknowledge it. it says there it is. Tampon Tim is the number one trend in the U S on politics. Tampon Tim. Amazing. Amazing. And you heard in there. Why? And here is the backstory on it in case people were wondering. So this is Tim Waltz, trusted advisor. He was key in getting Waltz to install tampon dispensers in boys' bathrooms in Minnesota schools. Hashtag tampon Tim. So we got this very clear biological male with uh, like way too many beads and weird um, nail polish who apparently was working in that uh, local Minnesota administration and then signing laws. All right, moving on. All right, so here is Minnesota First Lady talking about the 2020 riots because during the George Floyd riots, these guys were the most radically on board with this shit going on. So listen to Tim's wife. I would say those first days, you know, when there were riots. I could smell the burning tires. And um, that was that was a very real thing. And I kept the windows open for as long as I could because I felt like that was such a touchstone of what was what was happening. She got more excitement from the smell of burning tires than her husband's ever given her. And I don't know if I feel bad for her or if I think she needs to go in the loony bin with Kamala. Probably a bit of both. So the quartering says just in Kamala Harris has chosen Tim Waltz as her running mate, the man that let Minnesota burn and updated their state's flag to bend the knee to Somalia. I eagerly await his debate with JD Vance. Perfect. Now you could say perfect. Um, I, they're going to cheat so bad. They're going to use the levers of power they have in the media and big tech to uh, try to destroy our flow of information. So I really, really appreciate you guys who uh, drop the like, drop the follow, comments, all the stuff. Got to do everything because we are, uh, we're in an absolute battle to get this information out. That's, that's just a fact. All right. And so this guy. You can, I'm going to show a few different things on this guy. Listen to this. And I mean, this is pretty freaking admitted, especially considering what he let happen. So we'll listen to this and then I'll show you some of the footage of what happened in his state. But we can get out there, reach out, make the case. And for one thing, don't ever, don't ever shy away from our progressive values. One person's socialism is another person's neighborliness, but we can. So it's neighborly to let people burn down the city in the name of progress. It's neighborly to let basically retarded migrants who are coming from the uh, prisons and insane asylums come in 
and attack your your women, your children, all that stuff. We're talking shit about the new uh, potential Democratic VP from the ticket that they have. Jeremy was talking about him replacing the flag. Here you go, state flag. Whoa, wait a minute. There, that's better. Whoa, wait a minute. That's just not, that's not cool at all. I said that he swapped it out for what looks much more like the Somalian flag randomly, like for no reason. You swapped out Minnesota's flag, bro. Is that funny? So Josie, the redhead libertarian said what uh, I think a lot of people think. A Marxist president and a socialist vice president, we won't be voting our way out of that in 2028, just a heads up. It says you could vote yourself into communism, but you have to shoot your way out. That was the number one comment underneath. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look, I'm just telling you right now, you have to vote. You have to vote and you could say voting's useless. Fine vote and then have a backup plan. I don't know what your backup plan is. You figure that out. That's on you, but you need to vote. You got to, got to, got to vote and get everyone you can to vote. All right. It's the last ditch effort while it's even remotely possible to overwhelm their system and plan B, plan C, plan D after that to overthrow a communist regime. That'll be next. But for now, our last ditch effort to not have rivers of blood everywhere is to vote in November. So please, as a personal favor for me, I know the free thinkers sometimes can be very cynical and they're like, Ugh, you're not a truther if you don't think both parties are totally evil and Trump is just as bad as Kamala. And I'm like, I don't know, man, you sound pretty fucking stupid right now. Why don't you just vote? And then if they, there's an issue, have a backup plan. That's it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Dagnar, I just voted in today's primary here in Michigan. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Okay. Whitley. Nope. Republicans are not the solution, but Democrats are definitely the cause of your problems. Correct. A lot of the Republicans are controlled opposition. They're fake. They're rhinos. They're garbage. They're part of the regime. They talk about the two wings of the same bird. Yes, there are people that are two wings of the same bird, but you have the left who are these psychotic communists. I'm your left. I'm trying to be nice. And then the people on the right, half of them at least are controlled by the left as well to be the other side of the same bird. But as I've said to people, a third party option is pretty much impossible because there's too much infrastructure and the system is rigged to be a one or two situation. So it's easier to overthrow the shitty people on the Republican side and then put in America first patriots, constitutional scholars, libertarian, independent minded people and have them work for us um, in that side. Uh, but the other side is is pretty much lost. I, I don't think there's a single Democrat politician who's a strong Democrat feeling person that's worth a damn at this point. They had to leave. So Johnny's joining the team. Yes, I we we heard over uh, over the evening. Johnny has said that he is uh, he's on board. Much appreciated. You were welcome as an independent as a third party. Uh, and I'm very thrilled to have you on the Trump train now. All right. So let's see. We got Waltz, Minnesota. And then we'll look at what JD Vance has to say about him. But this is Graham Allen it says, this isn't Iraq. This is Minnesota under Tim Waltz as governor. This is America. If they win Trump 2024 is the only way. There we go. There we go. Look at that shit, dude. Yeah, I'm going to say hard pass on that. Ain't no way. Ain't no way.
Yeah, Johnny said, I'm an independent, but I'm on the Trump train. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm a Tea Party guy, dude. I'm I'm libertarian, conservative, leaning, libertarian, free thinking, conspiracy theorist, gamer. Okay, that's my that's my spot. They're like, are you a Republican? Ah, I'll chill with the Republicans and disagree with them on a bunch of stuff. But uh, as far as the voting goes, in the unfortunate binary situation that we have, usually the Republicans better. Like I said, I didn't vote for Romney because I was like, fuck that guy. Uh, no thanks. And then we paid for it with Obama. And then I was like, yeah, no, we actually got to get involved with this. Dag and I personally can't stand Trump as a person, but I love his policies. There's a lot of people like that that feel that way, and I'm totally good with that. I don't think you have to, you don't have to love a politician. You should hate all politicians because so many of them are so fake and phony and they're like dressing up, they're polished turds. You know what I mean? It's like you polish a turd. That's a politician. So I get it. I've always said, and I feel this is true, that Donald Trump is Bruce Wayne, dude. Like he's the billionaire. And then he gets on the stage and he gets in front of people and then he has his little act, but then on the side and the little personal conversations and the one-on-one, -on -one, he is a different person. So it feels like he's wearing the Bruce Wayne mask, walking out with the two hookers, you know what I mean? And then he's like paying for people's sick family and helping them get get back on their feet and hiring all these people and letting people stay at his place for free and it's just crazy it's just crazy it's two different people all right here is jd vance this who was a very good speaker when i went and saw him over the weekend in georgia let's go this is a guy who's proposed shipping more manufacturing jobs to China, who wants to make the American people more reliant on garbage energy instead of good American energy, and has proposed defunding the police just as Kamala Harris does. Uh, I think it's interesting, actually, they, they make an interesting tag team because, of course, Tim Waltz allowed rioters to burn down Minneapolis in the summer of 2020, and then the few who got caught, Kamala Harris helped bail them out of jail. So uh, it, it is more instructive for what it says about Kamala Harris that she doesn't care about the border, she doesn't care about crime, she doesn't care about American energy, and most importantly, she doesn't care about the Americans who have been made to suffer under those policies. This is a guy... I'm sorry, dude. He just bodied both of them. He threw them in a one-two combo on that shit. I thought that was great. Good on you, JD. Thank you, sir. All right. Hater suck asses. Make the new Republican Party MAGA slash libertarian filled. Then make Republicans make a third party. Honestly, that's a little bit of what it is. The rhinos are kind of getting pushed to the side in their own party. Like they thought, oh, this is the party of you know, Cheney and McCain and the Bushes. And, you know, then you have like Kissinger and um, Romney and uh, Ch the, the, the younger Cheney. But yeah, they're being alienated by the MAGA libertarian independent folks that are, are really championing the America first movement. So it's really fun to see. It's really cool. Okay. And just so you know, here's a picture. Just to hammer at home. Well, this is a little video. Excuse me. This is a target. What the fuck? You can go around the door if you want. So that is a target under this guy's leadership. Getting ransacked, and you can see them drilling, drilling out the, uh, the cash dispensers, the self-checkout cash dispensers. Filling tubs with merchandise and electronics. Uh, and then you saw the people raiding the pharmacy for drugs and the fire alarms going off because undoubtedly people would be smoking in there at the exact same time. So where are the police? They got defunded. 
They were shunned because of George Floyd. Cause you know, everybody, you know, it's such a funny thing that you see George Floyd took enough drugs to take out an elephant. And then these black lives matter protesters, these Antifa goons went and destroyed the whole country everywhere. Our guy, Donald Trump gets shot by a crazy deranged leftist after the media called for this for years after Biden called for it for weeks and even said that we need to put Trump in a bullseye and how much property damage happened from the right. None, absolutely none. We went and we picketed and we started telling people to go vote and we went to rallies and we started to speak up and get into un un uncomfortable scenarios of talking to people about politics that we probably wouldn't have before because it's so necessary. But there's no death, no destruction, no killing of the opposition. We'll let you speak because you're so damn stupid. You can just out yourself as stupid. I don't want to censor anyone on the left ever. Please enjoy your platform. And then on the other side, the Republicans are interrupted. The conservatives are interrupted. The truthers are interrupted constantly so that they can't get their message out. So it's, it's insane. The whole thing is insane. All right. Got something fun for you guys. A new hit for the end times. Not necessarily end times, but you'll get the picture. Not the size of a boat that counts. It's the motion in my UFO. Thank you for watching this clip with a thought cast. Catch us live on Rumble, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. And if you want to hang out with the Free Thinkers Rebellion, you can check the gaming channel as well.